people knew her by her will to make it whatever she put her mind to late night hours up the hill serving coffee to strangers talking about revenue she kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone and she knew it must rain before it grows Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are doing a little bit of prep for the upcoming holiday season. I have a pantry bag meal kit recipe to share with you. We'll be doing a little bit of planning for Thanksgiving. There's a winter decor haul and so much more. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So I am heading out the door this morning. I have a quick stop to make, and then I have yet another doctor's appointment about my ears. It turns out that I have a ruptured blood vessel behind my eardrum, which is causing all kinds of problems and just making me feel all out of sorts. But I wanted to share with you this adorable dress that I got at Walmart. I love me a dress with a pointed collar, and this one is even corduroy. It comes in two colors, green and burgundy. I bought both because this dress was only $24. It's perfect to wear as is, or you can even wear it as a duster. I just love pieces like this. This is what I'm probably gonna be wearing for Thanksgiving this year. It's so comfy, it has pockets, and it's one of my favorite colors of the season. In a couple videos ago, I had shown you guys how I put together bagged meals for days just like this. This is one of those busy days that a bagged meal really comes in handy. So I pulled out from my collection my crock pot chicken and gravy. Inside this bag, I have my can of cream of chicken soup. I have a packet of ranch seasoning. I have two packets of chicken gravy, and back there I have a can of chicken broth. That video got such a great response from all of you. I got so many requests for recipes, so I am gonna be sharing with you not only the meal kits, but the recipes that go along with them. But today we are going to be making our chicken and gravy in the crock pot. So I have about a pound and a half of chicken breast here. I have seasoned it really well with salt and pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of parsley. I have some minced onion on there and a little bit of paprika. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this into the crock pot and then I'm going to mix together all the ingredients that are here in this bag. So in a prepared crock pot, I have my chicken and then I have a bowl here that I have my cream of chicken soup. Now to this, I am going to add my two packs of chicken gravy and my packet of ranch seasoning. Now, if you have the big container of the ranch seasoning, you're just going to need about three tablespoons. So to this, I'm going to add the chicken broth and get it mixed up really well. You're gonna use about a cup of the chicken broth and then we're going to pour it on top of our chicken in the crock pot. We just wanna make sure that it is really blended well. So you're going to add your mixture on top of your chicken in the crock pot. Make sure that you get every little bit and try to make sure that your chicken is all covered with this mixture. This is such a great meal because you can use this like over mashed potatoes, that's how I'm going to make it today, or egg noodles or rice, and it is just so yummy and it kind of makes your, you know, house smell so warm and cozy on a cold day. So we are going to cover this and I like to cook mine first on high for about an hour and then I am going to turn it back to low for about two to three hours. I have heard from some of you that you enjoy knowing the podcasts that I listen to or the books that I am currently reading. And right now I am reading the Matthew Perry autobiography, um, Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing. 
I am so sad that we've lost Matthew Perry. He was by far my favorite friend. He was the one I just seemed to identify with, especially at the age they were in the series. He was so compassionate and enthusiastic and, you know, a little bit lost, just how we probably all were back in our 20s. And he writes very honestly about his lifelong struggle with drugs and alcohol, which is so heartbreaking, yet optimistic all at the same time. I have a very, very, very close family member who has struggled with addiction in their life. And if you do as well, you know how devastating it is, not only for the person, but for those people that love them. And this book has given me a greater appreciation for what my loved one went through and how grateful I am that they were able to pull themselves out and create a beautiful life for themselves. So if you have someone who struggles, this is a very good book to read because it gives you a whole different perspective and you really do come away with, you know, just falling in love with Matthew Perry all over again. And I think it is such a tremendous loss that he is gone so young. So if you're looking for a good read, I highly recommend this one. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Our crock pot chicken and gravy smells so good. Um, once it was all cooked, I just shredded it up a little bit and let it cool just a little bit so that the gravy could thicken up. I made some mashed potatoes and some mixed vegetables and cannot wait to dig in. As I said before, this is such a great recipe because you can put this over rice, you can put it over egg noodles or some simple mashed potatoes like I have here. Check out the description box down below for the full recipe and let me know if you guys try it. So, Today I've been doing a little work in my fall binder. If you are new here, I have a whole binder system going on. I have um, a binder for every season, for all of the major holidays, and inside I just keep, you know, recipes and lists and reminders, you know, from year to year to help me get myself organized and my home organized for the season. So of course in my fall binder, I have Halloween and Thanksgiving. I have like a collection of recipes and especially, you know, fun little cakes and things that I've made throughout the year for Halloween. But I've been doing some work in my Thanksgiving section of my binder because, you know, Thanksgiving is just a few weeks away and I want to get myself organized to have, you know, the smoothest holiday possible. Thanksgiving is that holiday that really focuses on that big meal and you know there are a lot of components to that meal and you know a lot of prep work and a lot of scheduling and things so over the years I have put together um, a Thanksgiving planner that kind of helps me keep everything organized, it helps me schedule my meal, it you know, helps me schedule the week up into the big day. I have like grocery lists and menus, cleaning lists, all kinds of things. So I have an extended version of this planner that also includes, you know, sections for your guest list and if your guest is bringing a dish, what dish they're bringing, checklist for your serving pieces and tablescape, how you're going to decorate on the big day, you know, your place cards, all those kinds of things. So I have been encouraged over the years by many friends who said, can't you put this online somewhere where we can make our own copies to use, you know, throughout the holidays. So what I did was I opened an Etsy shop and that Etsy shop has one listing and that listing is for the Thanksgiving planner. So this planner is 13 pages long, it is $5, and what I really like about it is that you can take those pages that you need more of and make as many copies as you will need. You know, maybe it's the guest list and the, you know, the dishes that they are going to bring, or it's the grocery list, whatever you need. You can make as many copies as you'll need for the season to help you get organized and have the smoothest, most delicious Thanksgiving ever. So. 
check the description box down below and let me know in the comments section um, if you try the planner and what you think of it and maybe some improvements we can make for next year. I really hope to put together one for the holiday season and you know maybe this is something that I can do throughout the year to add um, you know helpful little planners and little checklists and things throughout the year to keep us a little bit more organized throughout the seasons. So it is time again to share with you the Winter Deco Crated 2023 box. If you're unfamiliar with Deco Crated, they are a quarterly decor subscription box that comes to you every season. They also have holiday specific boxes like for Christmas and Halloween, a patriotic box. Um, in the summertime and they also have an Easter and spring box that is just beautiful but this one is the winter 2023 box always so excited to get it because it is filled with some of my most favorite decor pieces I already have opened um, the little envelope that comes with your booklet and a beautiful little art piece that you can frame and add to any decor in your home. Now, I am not going to look through the booklet. I want the contents to be a little bit of a surprise. So I'm gonna take some time and unbox everything and then I will be back to show you what's inside. So this is everything laid out here on my island from the 2023 Deco Created Winter Box. You know, with every box, I try to pick like my most favorite thing. And in the last couple boxes, it has been getting harder and harder to narrow it down to just one thing. And with this box, there are so many, I just don't think I can pick one. But I have to point out this absolutely beautiful sleigh. I mean, I can think of so many different ways to use it. I think that something like this that has a natural element to it and a metal element can pretty much go in any room of your house. It can go on your buffet table to hold maybe, you know, utensils and napkins. It can go to, you know, bring a little winter or holiday to one of your bedroom side tables. I just cannot wait to put it in all the different places of my home to see where it's going to live for the season. Also in the box was a set of these beautiful glass candle holders. I just love the little wave in this glass. I think no matter what you put in there, whether it be like, you know, a candle or a little lighted tree, the light will be so diffused, you know, throughout the room. It'll really give such a beautiful effect. And I love that the bottom has like this gold base, which kind of, you know, dresses it up a little bit. These would be really pretty down the center of your table or on a side table. I just think they are so beautiful. Now they have also included this really beautiful accent rug that has little tassels on the end of it and this like really pretty burgundy and ivory color to it. Now you can absolutely use this as a, like a little entrance rug maybe for your patio door. But what I love to use these for is to top my island because you know sometimes when you have you know a few people over you like to put out um, some, you know, appetizers and things. And something like this really brings a lot of color to your space and it just makes it look a little bit festive. So you can use this as a topper for your island or maybe as part of your tablescape because it has such a beautiful deep color to it. It will bring a lot of color to your holiday table. Now I am a big fan of little mini houses and they have included these two. They're actually wall hangings because they have you know, a little hook on the back there that you can absolutely hang them on your wall. But I think I would put them out, you know, on a tabletop display throughout the holidays and the winter. I have a ton of little white houses and wooden houses, black houses, metal houses, and these will be so perfect to go along with that collection. And then of course they have to include a pillow or a blanket and they've included in this box this beautiful velvet ivory pillow. I mean, how beautiful is that? And they've actually included the filler pillow inside, which usually they just send you, um, you know, the pillow cover and you can add another 
filler pillow. Now I love this pillow because I think it will match perfectly with some of the other you know, winter throws and knit blankets that they have sent in the past. So I can't wait to dig those out and put them together. So I cannot wait to decorate with these pieces. So I'm gonna take a minute or two and add them to the decor in my home so you can see how I may use them for the winter season. How cute does this whole display look on my coffee table here in my family room? I just love that sleigh. I mean, it's a really good size. You can put a lot of things in the back of there. I just have one of my little pine trees that I have so many of left over from the holidays. This one in particular, I think I got at Target. I have a little reindeer pillow in there with some antlers and a little pine cone and then I have one of those beautiful candle holders and on the inside I added one of those little trees that I found at the Target dollar spot you know the ones that light up I just think that it adds a, just a little touch of color and it looks so pretty inside I decided to put that pretty ivory velvet pillow here in my living room on my little gray favorite chair. In the back there, I have a plaid throw that is from a previous deco created box. I just love the way they always have all their pieces well coordinated so you can use them and build your collection throughout your house. Please check out the description box down below for a link to Deco Created, and they were kind enough to give me my own Mickey 15 promo code for you to save some money on your purchase. So please check the link down below and let me know in the comments if you guys have tried Deco Created and what you think. So thank you all so much for watching today. Hopefully I'm on the mend and I will be back in just a little while with another pantry bagged meal kit video. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for items that I mentioned in today's video and for my Thanksgiving planner on Etsy. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in the next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.